visit Pokemon card market and buy Pokemon cards from base set up to latest evolution set with best prices, secured system and easy handling. Only for European players. How's it going guys? Once again, welcome back to Pokemon TCG Center. Um, in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the Dragonite EX uh, Weak Vault uh, with the Jolteon and Tauros as a backup attacker's um, deck. So this is a fun deck. So one of my subscribers asked, can I build this? And I decided to build, publish, and basically um, test it. So uh, it's not my build actually, it's my um, subscriber build, so I just imported this deck. So what's interesting about this deck? Definitely a ability on the Wicca Vault, um, Strong Charge. So once in your turn, you might search your deck for a Grass and Lighting Energy card, attach them to your Pokémon in any way you like, and then shuffle your deck after that. Um, I really like the ability because it's pretty cool. Um, it allows me to um, attach energies to my Pokémon's to play. So for example, I can use my Hyper Beam um, for 130 if I want. Or I can just attach two energies to my Jolteon and use my Flesh Ray with uh, one extra energy. I have multiple different options. So uh, that's definitely a cool ability. As always, uh, as you can, use ability to um, power up um, energies. That's insane. It's a stage 2 Pokemon, so uh, it will need to evolve from the Grabbing into the um, Chargy Bug whatever the card is, call, is called or named uh, and of course Wicca Vault or just simply with the Grabbing and Rare Candy to Wicca Vault. Um, 14 Pokemons, 34 Trainer cards and 12 Energies, of course 60 cards in total. So the main attacker it's gonna be Dragon IDX with the Hyper Beam, 220 HP. Um, also backup attacker can be Tauros GX with that uh, Ninja Boy of course or Jolteon depend on the um, situation. And of course, we also have two copies of Shaman EX for the setup. So, 3 1 3 line of the Wicca Vault, uh, 14 Pokemons in total. Uh, interesting thing can also be um, second Taurus GX, just in my opinion. It can be, well, for example, extra there. Um, so, um, the good thing about Jolteon is that he has free retreat. So, even if I don't have um, something like a floatstone attached, uh, after I get knocked out, if I have Jolteon on my bench, I can always promote my Jolteon in the front. Uh, also, cool thing about Flash Ray is that if I play against basic Pokemon decks like Evil Tile, I can strike for the weakness, and on the other side, I can prevent those Evil Tiles from dealing damage to my Jolteon EX. That's insane. Of course, Escape Pro Plysender can just fix that. Uh, issues for my opponents. Um, three copies of Rare Candies, of course, um, two copies of Super Road. Why two copies of Super Road makes a lot of sense because you really want to recycle your energies, but also Pokemons um, can be recycled. Um, so I always run one copy of Super Road, sometimes two. If we speak about Ranger Break, then I run two or Trevenant, but uh, in mostly decks, I just run one copy of Super Road. Uh, definitely, in my opinion, better than uh, uh, Brogue's Grid because it's a supporter card and then you just need to waste a third of supporter. Uh, three Trainers Mails, four Ultra Balls, four V Seekers. That's it. So, Stadium, Pearl City. Why Pearl City? Because you can just get rid of your Shamans, for example, or um, your Dragonite with tons of damage in it. So, pretty cool. Also, uh, you can force your opponent maybe to um, have only three Pokemons on the bench. Uh, or maybe even to reduce damage uh, from uh, fire, grass, and uh, water Pokémons. The problem with the Pearl City is that if you play Pearl City, you simply need to have Deliquent as a tool in your deck. So why Deliquent? Um, just because if you uh, play two copies of Pearl Cities, uh, and if, if your opponent plays Pearl City to you, you just don't have a chance to remove Pearl City from play. So in this game, I will just cut one Super Road and add one Deliquent, just in case if I find myself in position uh, needed to set up, I can just use um, Deliquent. Uh, copy of Hex Maniac, two copies of Lysanders um, for multiple um, Lysander on the bench. Uh, two copies of N, of course. Uh, one Ninja Boy, as I mentioned earlier, pretty cool card. Um, you can just swap your Dragonite into the Tauros, uh, surprise your opponent from nowhere, or to Jolteon, or just reverse, depending on the situation. Pokemon Ranger. Uh, why Pokemon Ranger? Mm, interesting question. Pokemon Ranger can be good um, for multiple reasons. The first one is if there's a Giratina on the other side, it can prevent me from attaching my tools or um, special energies. 
Um, if I play against Glacier, it could be uh, Crystal Race, so I cannot, for example, attack with my Wicker Vault, but I don't even want to attack with my Wicker Vault. If I play against Jolteon, yeah, that can be a problem because Jolteon can then strike for 70 and prevent me from being able to attack, but I can respond with my Wicker Vault for 150. Not enough for the one-hit knockout, so Ranger, again, makes a lot of sense. Uh, four copies of Professor Sycamore discard hand drop seven. Uh, interesting decision in this deck is a Skyla, search a deck for trainer card, put it in your hand. Well, that's that's cool. That's cool. Uh, also, teammates can be a good one. Um, after you get knocked out, you can search a deck for any two cards. But in an early game, if you want to set up into Wicca Wall as fast as we can, for example, turn two Skyla can have a lot of sense. Um, two copies of Fighting Fury Bells, two Flow Stones. And of course, uh, 12 energies, 4 of each. So 4 double colors energies, 4 grass energies, and 4 lighting energies. Since our um, Dragonite and the Taurus can use colors energies, same as the Shaman, uh, only Jolteon will require 1 lighting energy for that Flash Ray, or even just Electro Cannon for 150 with that Weaker Vault. Overall, I really like the deck. So if you're looking for any of these cards, you can find them on ccgcast.com. TCG Center Fab Code can also give you the 5% discount on your first purchase, so make sure to check that. You can also trade your book for the uh, Sun Moon uh, Booster Box, so you can also find the uh, interesting information about that in my video description. So let's do some game tests so you can actually guys see this deck in action, so see in the game. Okay, so I I want a coin flip and I can go first, so let's take a look at the opening hand. So starting with a Dragon ID X. Um, okay. Okay. Let's see what's gonna be top deck. Not sure, but Ultra Ball can be good. Uh, Rare Candy is a top deck. Yeah, don't like that. Since the Drachi is on the other side, I'm not gonna be able to attach my double course energy. So, I can just play my Ninja Boy, for example, and get myself one Grabby. It's a bit risky, but since I have Rare Candy and Weak Vault in my hand, yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna take the risk. I'm gonna definitely take the risk here. Um, Weak Vault, turn two in play, can be good. Greninja Break on the other side. Alright, so one Sigmore for seven. There we go. I just need to one hit map of that on Jirachi. In order to do that, I can do it simply. So, yeah, what a nice top deck. But never mind. Right now, I can have my weak vault in play. Of course, I'm gonna attach double course energy to him and Sycamore for seven. I did a good decision, in my opinion. Um, for sure. So, um, one trainer's mail. Let's see what you can find with the trainer's mail. Uh, just another V seeker. Do I need that? No. The answer is no. Well, I'm gonna use my strong charge. Grab one grass energy and grab one lighting energy. That's it. And of course, I want to be pretty quick here and use my electro cannon, knocking out my opponent Jirachi. But yeah, in order to do that, you need to pay three energies. That's very expensive, but never mind. At least I knocked out that Jirachi, who was the biggest threat at this moment of the game. So next turn, next turn I can have my Dragonite floating for like 130 with that Hyper Beam. Okay, there is M. I decided not to put my Tower so far in play. Don't even want to show my opponent I'm running towers in my deck. I just want to surprise him from nowhere. Um, that's gonna be cool. So there is one level ball for another Froakie. And water duplicate can be for up to three more Frogadiers, depending on how many he has. I'm gonna need as fast as I can something like a Pearl City. Mm, only two Frogadiers. Alright, only two Frogs. Let's go with a strong charge. One grass. Do I even want to attach this lighting energy? Mm, that's that's a pretty cool question. For now, I'm gonna do that. Ultra Ball, maybe for Sycamore and Grass Energy for another week of old. I think, I think I'm gonna wait for like one turn, um, use my Hyper Beam, strike for 130 basically, get um, that Rare Candy and Weak Vault next turn, of course, so I can have two Weak Vaults in play, 
um, another rare candy. I want to have fresh hand of seven. So far, no Greninja breaks, so I don't need to worry about that. Um, of course, my opponent can just strike me with that. Um, strike for 40 uh, with his Moonlight Slash. No, Moonlight Slash is for uh, with the Shadow Snatch for 40, of course, to shut down my abilities. But hopefully, that's not gonna happen. Hopefully, he's gonna go for 80. Well, there's a second Greninja, and the mystery card in his hand is uh, Lily. So he can draw cards till he has six. Well played. Okay, so. No Wally, no Greninja break this turn, so max 80 damage can be performed to my Dragonite EX. Which means that I desperately need my Hex Maniac and I'm not gonna get one. Um, can I go for 130? Yes, I can. This is just a Silent Lab, which means that my Dragonites will not have any abilities. So, not a big deal. I'm gonna take 6, that's 140. I need one Fighting Fury Belt. My Matt says I need one Fighting Fury Belt, but my Matt also says then I can, for example, just retreat my Dragonite and then just discard him with my Pearl City. Not gonna do that yet. Ultra Ball just for a second week of old. Alright. It's better to have two instead of the one. You never know what can happen, you never know in what kind of direction game can go. So, yeah, better be prepared for, for everything. I'm seeing my Hex Maniac. Let's go, Sycamore for 7. There we go, there's a Hex Maniac. Okay, so for next turn I'm gonna be good. I um, just want to try get that Fighting Fury Belt. Mm, not gonna happen again. Which means um, one Greninja break can simply one hit knock out my Dragonite. How broke is that? Well, no more basic energies for me. So just one Hyper Beam. Um, it's 130. It's enough for the knockout. I don't care. I'm down to three price cards. Of course, he can use one John Water Shuriken, but what else? What else he can do? Nothing. I mean. I'm gonna probably then just Ninja Boy my second Dragonite if he took some kind of damage counters and then just simply one hit knock on his Greninja break with the Mad Bull GX and then he will have only one Greninja left in his um, on his bench. So no, there is an okay, okay, and I decided not to remove that Silent Lab, so that was my mistake maybe. But still I'm good. Still I'm good. Still, I'm in game, so really don't need to worry, really don't need to rush anywhere. So far, so good. Next turn, I'm gonna play my Super Road, and I will have enough for the knock with my second Dragonite 130. I can even go with my Wicca Wolf for 150. Oh, guess what? He decided to go for 40. No Greninja Break. That's surprisingly bad. Since there was no Greninja Break, I can relive. Uh, I'm gonna play my Super Road. Recycle only energies, because I really need them. More than that, this is gonna be a Professor Sycamore for 7. In this situation, I'm losing one of my um, V-Seekers. Guess what? I didn't even pull a single double Colors energy. And that kind of hurts me. That kind of hurts me. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna retreat. I can attach energy. Where should I attach my energy? Do I even want to attach my energy? Um, I can always go for 150 with the weak vault. Or I can just prepare my second Dragonite. So it's somehow better to prepare second Dragonite to be able to attack. Um, just because with the double course energy I can choose between three different attackers. And of course I can always remove my um, Dragonite EX with the Ninja Boy. Alright, so what's gonna be next step for my opponent? What's gonna be next move? So I'm be secret for Ace Trainer. Okay, um, I'm gonna be happy with the Ace Trainer just because um, I'm, I'm getting three fresh cards. It might be uh, Hex Maniac, Double Cores Energy and something. Better than two copies of Lysander as well, close. but. Still far from something that I was searching for. Bursting Balloon and Shadow Stitching for 40. Dang, okay. Oh, nice, nice, nice top deck. 
uh, flowstone. So a bee seeker is going to be for Professor Sycamore, no doubt about that. <sighs> okay, I'm a little bit worried right now because I didn't pull a double course energy and I have like tons of them left. So I'm gonna just took one card and basically put it into my hand. And yeah, I cannot set up because of the silent lab. What I can do is just, yeah, if you jump with the shuriken, I'm gonna be knocked out by anyway. Um, jump with the shuriken, and yeah, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just pass my turn, actually. I'm just gonna pass my turn, actually. It's better and smarter, because if he decides to knock me out with the John Water Shurikane, uh, he definitely can do that. Then I can just promote my another week of old and uh, stay cool. Stay definitely cool. Or maybe even better my Dragonite and then just Ninja Boy into my Tauros GX. Well, I think that's gonna be actually a strategy. Still, that Sun Lab makes me a tons of problems. I actually regret that I didn't put in play my Pearl City. Give me the top deck Pearl City and I'm gonna be this, the happiest person in the world. So he decided to jump Water Shriek in my Benched Weak Vault. And there's a Lysander to my Benched Weak Vault, so that's gonna be 8 damage counters to him. That's a bad decision. No, Shadow Stinchion for 40. Another Lysander for me. Tell you what, I simply need my V Seeker, so I'm just gonna try to Lysander his Froki on the bench, run back to my bench, um, but it really doesn't matter too much, and simply pass my turn. I really want to use that V Seeker for Ninja Boy, so I can in theory get that very, very powerful one hit knockout with my Mad Bull GX, which is gonna keep me in the game, so there is one energy for a retreat, of course. And a Die Ball, it might be for another Frogadier. Yes, it's gonna be for another Frogadier. I think I'm gonna actually lose this game at the end, because Silent Lab actually destroys me at this moment. I have two Shames for setup, I cannot set up. There's a John Water Street King, so it's gonna be double knockout this turn. Um, so, nope, just a Shadow Snitching. Wow, my gosh. Okay. Do we want to take a risk right now, or we just want to somehow strike with one of my Dragonites and say goodbye to my Tauros GX for this game? I don't know, it's crazy. It's crazy because my opponent also plays a Max Potions, so... I'm gonna seek more for seven, but this is gonna be it. This is this is going to lose this game probably for me. Okay, so double chorus attachment. I didn't even pull a stadium, so I'm gonna use my hyper beam, and that's gonna be for 140. And of course, I'm gonna discard his. Splash Energy. Next turn I can try to Deliquent. But Deliquent don't, does not make too much sense right now. Not at all. Okay. Yeah. I wish I could swap one of my benched Pokemons with the Taurus GX for one hit knockout, so I so he could have one Greninja Break less in play. So there's another V-Seeker for Ace Trainer. Still he desperately is searching for those energy cards. Um, I just see one in Discord Pile, two in play. Let's say he run eight in total, he have five more available. Well, it's question where those energies are. And finally Pearl City. A little bit too late in my opinion. A little bit too late in my opinion. 
but still still oh interesting retreat that's cool so who's gonna be knocked out with the John Water Shuriken? Or maybe he just decide to go for my Dragon IDX. There's a multiple options, but I know one. I'm gonna play my Pearl City next turn and try to remove at least one prize from the bench. But in this situation, I even can't do that. But what I can do is put my Pearl City to my opponent's side so he can do 20 damage less. Show Stinching for 40 one more time. And my top deck is just Professor Sycamore. Well, that's bad. That's simply too bad. Let's keep that. No point to keeping that in my hand. You're gonna take 20 damage less, and you're gonna take um, Hyper Beam from my Dragonite for 140 and one energy is going to be discarded. There we go. Fisherman can do a lot of benefit for my opponent right now. But there's one more Greninja break. I don't have any more access to my Lysanders and that, that's, that's the Max Potion. That's the card I was scared about. And right now he just played one and another Silent Flap immediately. So yeah, 4 B Seekers waste. No chance to play VE Seeker for Ninja Boy. And Sycamore for... What the heck? This is GG. So he decided to go with the Sycamore for 7. Okay, I mean, 2 energies, you can do a double John Water Shuriken. That's, that's, that's okay, but still. Um, 6 and another John Water Shuriken. Well, maybe he have Hidden Switch or Escape Rope in his hand. Who knows? So, will there be another John Water Shuriken? No, just a Moonlight Slash. And a top deck, guess what? A Hex Maniac. I couldn't get better top deck, in my opinion. Simply, I couldn't. So, one Wicca Vault. For one Grass Energy. What can I do with this Pokemon? I can paralyze my opponent active Pokemon? Yeah, but I'm short for one energy. So I'm just gonna play my Hex Maniac and smile to my opponent face. Um, retreat my um, Dragonite. Paying huge retreat cost, which is a 3 in total. And knocks out his Greninja with my Hyper B. Which means that he have only one more card left to draw. And he needs to take three prize cards. So, without John Water Shurikens, I think this is literally the GG. I think that's it. So, he made a huge mistake um, playing that Sycamore for seven. But he, if, if he was able to draw two cards, two energy cards, uh, the story would be completely different. So, there is a water energy. Is there maybe an end in his hand? I don't know, I, I see two ends and the three VA Seekers, and there's a the last VA Seeker for N. Well, at least he can play that N. And it goes down to two cards and just strike with... I have Deliquent, that's cool. Moonlight Slash. So he can John Water Shriek in, but he have too many cards in his hand. Too many cards in his hand. I have Skyla. Only thing I can do is just hope and nothing else. So I'm gonna play my Deliquent, discard three cards from his hand. Um, one of them was actually an energy card. That's interesting. So my decision will be just to stay with my Dragonite for now in the active position because he needs two energy cards. He played Fisherman, he played four V Seekers. Um, he have like five basic energies and three, uh, yeah, splash energies in his discard pile. I think, I think, I think I can retreat. But if he can get access to two energies, the game is gonna be over anyway, just because he can use two John Water Street Canes for both Dragon ID axes. Let's just pass and see what he can do.
Okay, so John Wonder Shrieking down to my Dragon IDX as expected. So six basic energies and three splash. Maybe he play one more splash energy or one more basic energy. There's retreat. Will there be another basic energy cards? Yes, there's another John Wonder Shrieking. So at the end, two John Wonder Shrieking's and that's a GG, unfortunately. But it was a very close game. I was not able to put my um, Tauros GX in play, and that actually cost me too much. But I hope you guys enjoy watching this deck list and this um, deck idea for the standard format. And make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos. As always, if you have any questions, make sure to leave comments below or send me a message on Facebook. So, have a nice day till the next time. See you in the next video. So, goodbye.